So I'm running out of space, guys, and this is starting to get messier and messier. So I think it's time to clean up this plant wall and add some more plants to it, flesh it out, and um, yeah, make some more space for other stuff in the plant room. You ready to rock? Let's go. I can still do it. I can still do it. All right, so the before shot. As some of you guys have noticed, <laughs> this is a total mess. And the plants have kind of just slowly been colonizing the area here that I had sort of just been using for storage, but the time has come where I think we're gonna have to just clean this puppy up because yeah, it, it just doesn't look good guys. It doesn't look good. So apologies for that. Peaches has had enough. She's pissed. There's not enough plants there. She's just like, screw this. This is a joke. Isn't that right, Peach? I also have a whole bunch of anthuriums that are sort of slowly busting out of my cabinet here. I definitely didn't appreciate how fast these guys were going to size up. Like you'll see this new leaf here. I've got a Dreslerii cross with something down here that has a leaf that's, you know, twice the size of my head. They're all getting huge fast. And then I have a whole bunch of other stuff that is just sizing up so quickly. Add a Bapo Ends here, a UPI here, a Philodendron 69686. There's loads of stuff. So we got to work it out. We got to work it out. Man, while we're here, how bloody beautiful are uh, some new anthurium leaves. So I don't know, which plant is this on again? This is a dark crystallinum and the deep red maroon kind of color on it is just phenomenal. And you'll see there's another new leaf coming out here as well. I don't know why I'm tapping on the glass, but <laughs> this is the naughty corner. This is everything that has or has been next to something with spider mites. So I tend to chuck it into the shower here and it ends up living here for a few weeks and getting sprayed every five to six days. And then lastly, here is the plant room. So you will see it is just shocker block full of plants. And I have some things that aren't necessarily investment plants, but would go well on the shelf like this vitrifolium. I would love to have this one out there and I also have a Polytiflorum crossed with Panamens. So that's another one that might look really nice cascading down. I'm not sure, but we'll have to have a look and have a bit of a think. There's loads of stuff in here to choose from, but hopefully we can make that wall a little nicer. And yeah, <laughs> I tend to leave this out. So I, this is my sort of watering bucket where I can put plants in here, water them. I tend to leave it out overnight just to increase the humidity a bit and then I'll empty it out. But um, yeah, that, that's why that's on the ground. Oh my God, guys, you are not gonna believe this. I only just noticed this. So this is my large form Aurea and the light green gets lighter and lighter and lighter until it gets yellow, right? But check out this new leaf. Can you see what the deal is? It is a perfect half moon. One half of it is gonna go brilliantly yellow when it completely hardens off. Isn't that just nuts? I'm trying to find a good um, position to show you. Here, this, this might be it. But how nuts is that? Far out, maybe under here. Here we go. All right, that's a lot better. <laughs> now you can see. How insane is that? What? <laughs> what? Alright, so about an hour later, <laughs> here's what we've got. So I've moved all the plants around just to be able to clean everything. I am so amazed at how much crap was on these two sets of shelves. Like if I show you, <laughs> full disclosure, <laughs> look at all the crap on the table and on the ground back here. That was all on there. So it always blows my mind how much can fit on these kinds of vertical storage things, right? So anyway, 
This is what it currently looks like. I'm actually kind of surprised at how much space now is available to chuck plants up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fill it. So I'm not sure. I guess I'm just going to go look around in the collection, see if I can find any good trailing plants, anything that I don't really want in the plant room or in my office or here on this shelf. And we'll just see how she feels out, I guess. Okay, so I think that might be it for now, guys. I'll give you a closer look so you can see what I've sort of done here. I've kind of tried to separate things out a bit so that they're getting maximal light. You can also see them and hopefully to reduce pest, what would you say, pest spreading? But I imagine that's sort of almost impossible when you've got so many plants close together like this. So I might also give these guys a pest spray down or think about buying some spider mite, uh, predatory mites so that I can chuck them on here. You alright mate? What's up? Food. Food time. Um, but yeah, that, that's really all she wrote. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. Um, what do you reckon would go good on the shelf here? And uh, yeah, I'll give you a look. What have we got down here? A thirsty uh, Epipremnum aureum. We've got some different kinds of syndapsis. I think this is a silvery M. This is a Pictus. We've got some more Epipremnum aureum up here. Another one here. This is a neon one. We have a Philodendron micans here. These are some propagations from this guy over here. So this is Monstera sotopicana. I have about 30 or so different propagations that I chucked into a pot here and they are slowly cascading down spider plant that I've kind of just let do its thing and it's got pups coming from pups coming from pups. This is one of my only Hoyas, <laughs> the Hindu rope. Uh, so that's doing well, I'm just sort of letting it do its thing. If we move over here, I've got some, again, Epipremnum aureum. This is the Pandu Mandula, Pandula, Mandula. Uh, this is the, what's this one, Green Dragon, is it? Alocasia sinuata. So I'm not sure if that's green dragon or what, but yeah, it's one of those beautiful sort of jewel alocasias. Absolutely love this one. Um, this is an Apenthes picture plant. These guys are beautiful. I think this is just a another Syndapsis. I think it's Argurius. I'm not sure if it's the same species as this, but a different cultivar, but that's the Argurius one. And then we've got some, oh man, I've forgotten this. This is a Syngonium. I think it's like Red Arrow or something like that. It has these beautiful red backs, uh, back seals, right? The red backs to the leaves here. Uh, some different heart leaf philodendrons. I'm not sure which is heteracium. This might be chordatum, and this over here might be heteracium, I think. This one might also be chordatum, not sure. Um, again, Argurius. What else have I missed? This is some uh, monkey mask, Monstera adansonii. This is Sildipicana. Uh, we have some, is it, oh man, I'm having a a brain fart. It's another aureum, but I'm not sure if it's like a dragon something or, or what, but yeah, you guys know, I'm sure what that is. This is a Monstera and Sony Laniata. And then I think that's everything. Oh, we have the Anthurium uh, Vitifolia, Vitifolium, Vitifolia, I've forgotten the name, but that's up here too. And I'm, I guess I'll think about chucking the Heartleaf Anthuriums on here too, but I need to kind of work out whether or not they're going to be able to handle the lower humidity out here though it's probably between 50 and 60 percent but they definitely comfy inside the cabinet at about 85 to 90 percent so that's it for this episode guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got something out of it if you have any tips tricks and advice leave it in a comment below go check out this video next and i'll see you there Doo bloody hell now i have to wait for my wife to get home to clean this up i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking